Hi, I'm Jana Abram, athletic trainer and cancer exercise specialist. Today, I'm going to share a trick with you to help you improve your balance. I learned this trick about 20 years ago from a great physical therapist named Edie Bernhardt, and I have been sharing it with my patients and clients ever since because everyone that I've shared it with has told me that it helps them improve their balance. Now, balance is your ability to control your body without movement against gravity. Balance can be compromised by various things, such as medications, head injuries, circulatory system disorders, and any disorder of the inner ear. Balance is made up of three systems within our body. One is our vestibular system, which is affected by the inner ear. So people with inner ear disorders, their vestibular system is affected and that will affect, affect their balance. There are physical therapists that focus um, primarily on that as a treatment or they have a focus on that um, to help people with those particular disorders. Um, our visual system is also involved in our balance. So it's harder to stand on one leg with your eyes closed than when your eyes are open because you no longer have the visual cues that you need to help you balance. Um, or I notice when I put on my prescription sunglasses, they're more for distance. And so I find that the land that's close to me um, just doesn't seem quite right. And so I don't feel very balanced when I am in my sunglasses. And then the third system that affects balance is proprioception or the feel, right? Your balance is going to be better if you're on a hard surface than if you are on a soft or unstable surface. So that's what we're going to work on today is the proprioception or the feel. And we're going to get to know the bottom of your foot. So when you stand on one foot, I want you to focus on three points. We're going to stand up in a little bit. And we're going to focus on three different points in the bottom of the foot. All right, we're going to focus right below our big toe. We're going to focus below our little toe and then down onto our heel. So big toe, below our little toe to our heel. We're going to call this A, B, and C. So we're going to go stand up. And first, we're going to shift our weight between A and B. Right, kind of get to know the forefoot. Now we're going to shift between B and C, get to know kind of the outside of your foot. And then between C and A, we'll get to know more the inside of your foot. Then we're going to do it in a circle a few times. Then now we're going to go the other way. All right, I'm going to do this without my shoes on. You are welcome to do it uh, with your shoes on if they are comfortable, stable shoes. No stilettos for this one. At least not right off when you're first starting. Um, so I'm going to have you stand with your weight even on both legs to start with. So 50% of my weight is on my left leg, 50% on my right. I would like you to shift over to your left leg. I'm going to shift my right so that I mirror you. You are going to be standing on your left leg. So now you have, I'm going to say, maybe 80% of your leg weight on your left leg. Your right leg is just kind of hanging out, helping you with your balance, but not really super participating in the rest of this uh, exercise. So now what we're going to do is you're gonna keep your weight on your heel. You're not gonna lift that heel up, but you're just gonna shift your weight in between those top two points. So point A to point B, A, B. Again, my weight is still on my heel, but I'm just getting a feel for these two points here, A to B, underneath my big toe, to underneath my little toe, okay? Now we're gonna shift from B down to C. Okay, I still have, right, point A is down, but I've shifted my weight more to the outside. From the side, right, that just looks like this, forward, back on my heel, forward, back on that outside of my foot. Good, I'm gonna face you again. 
face, your weight is still shifted over on that left leg. Now we're going to shift between the letter C and the letter A, so kind of on the inside of the foot, inside edge. Sometimes this feels a little bit harder for people to do to get over to this A from C. There's a lot of muscles working within your foot itself. There's also a lot of work, muscles working uh, above your ankle and your lower leg uh, that turn into tendons that are coming down into your ankle and foot and helping with this. All right, now we're going to try a circle. So B, oh no, here's B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A. A. All right, let's shift, try the other direction. So we're starting at A, we're going to shift to C, B, A, C, B, A, C, B. Fantastic. That's it. So we did about five repetitions in between each point and three circles in each direction. I would do that on your right, you just did your left, do it on your right side as well. And that's a great place to start. Go ahead and you can do that every day. You can do that a couple of times a day. Um, I would work up to um, five uh, repetitions in between each point, sorry, 10 repetitions in between each point. And then five circles, five circles clockwise, five circles counterclockwise. And then once you can do that comfortably with your weight just shifted over onto each leg, then go ahead and try lifting one leg and doing it just on one leg. And if you feel more stable uh, holding onto the wall doing that or with your hands on the back of the chair or the kitchen counter, um, just to be more stable, go ahead and do that, right? Lift one leg and then go through the exercise again, shifting back and forth between the front two points, the side, the inside two, and your circles. Uh, start back with the five repetitions and three circles, and again, work up to 10 and five. Um, you should be feeling improvements in, I would say by three to four weeks, you should be on one foot. Um, and yeah, really should be feeling much more in control of your balance in six to eight weeks. Give me a shout, let me know how it goes. Look forward to seeing you again.